City of Mobile officially celebrating Bienville Square's 200th anniversary. Fox 10 News was there as the bicentennial celebration marked two centuries of drawing the community together. Bienville Square's bicentennial celebration. Highlighting what makes the downtown landmark so special. Three, two, one. There is the hand after a $3.2 million facelift, including a major overhaul on the Ketchum Fountain, extended center plaza, and the new brickscape seating and landscaping. And so what we're hoping from this is that everybody realizes that the city is bought into, you know, the significance of downtown by what we've done here. And the encouragement is, is for those that own buildings that maybe have not invested in bringing their buildings up to snuff, is now's the time to do it. 200 years later, Bienville Square is still bringing the community together. Yeah. Also a testament to the growth of our city and it, it shows every generation of growth that we've had from 1702 until 2024. So it's a, a, a monumental rethinking of what we were and now to what we become. You know, one of the things I have most loved is seeing how people interact with the fountain now. There are children that will run along its edge. They'll, they'll be there with their pets running along the edge of the fountain. And it's such a joyful scene and it, it couldn't happen before. So the loss of trees from Hurricane Sally pushing the project forward. That guitar was built from the wood that fell during Hurricane Sally. Um, it was quite a process to make, but it's a fully functional guitar. It's not just art and it works just as well as it looks. So. With the Bienville Square connection, Chris Phelan and his wife had to be here. It looks phenomenal. Like I was asking my wife if they added to the fountain. I didn't remember it being that tall. It looks so good. It looks crazy. It's amazing. Right? Yeah, it, they did a phenomenal job. I think it looks really good. I mean, I think we've got more people visiting with you know the industry in the area and they're trying to build up downtown and I think yeah making this kind of central location like just that much prettier I think it says good things. The park is nice. Mm. So yeah, the beef. Another colorful gym reinstalled was the oyster shell that was damaged a couple of years ago. Artist Ginger Woshan working her magic. This time I redid the whole design. I added in the Catilda, the History Museum because I love the history of Mobile. Um, myself, I actually painted myself I see that. Um, with Zeppelin, my pup. Um, there's like 35 Easter eggs to find, and I'll be posting the list online. What a way to celebrate 200 years. Welcome. And Fox 10 Live at 3 also getting in on the bicentennial fun. We're going to make a wish We're before ready. we say goodbye. Y'all okay. ready? A new park with old world charm still center stage. On the count of three. One, two, three. Woo! Yay! You, <laughs> you know, I was just curious about the history of Bienville Square, and I'm sure they discussed that during the mm -hmm. event, but there is so much that you can find as to, you know, how the park was designated, the history behind the fountain. It was a great day just yeah. celebrating not only the history, but all the upgrades that have been done, kind of just setting us up for another 200 years. 200 years. Yeah.